portfolio designing is super, super hard. So in this video, we're gonna go over four templates that you guys can take inspiration from and use in your own projects. You can also even clone them if you use Webflow. So keep that in mind for the rest of the video. So this first portfolio here is by Powell Gola. It's so big, a free clonable. So if we go ahead and take a look at the live site. Now this is a free clonable that you guys can take a look at here. You can clone it for free. So this first one here, Solvig by Powell Gola. We can see that this designer is very clear in the type of branding that they want to put out, right? Even in the mockups, we can see that there's a very consistent theme throughout this entire portfolio. And this is a great portfolio for you guys to clone because it shows the consistency with the color, with the branding, with the typography throughout the entire thing. Now, not only is the branding and the consistency great, but also these little micro interactions are super nice. But when we click on the project page itself, we can see that there is a clear process in the project that we can see here. So we have the client, the timeline, service, website, all this, we all know this. But apart from having this massive hero image, which I am a big fan of, we also have the challenge, the goal, and the solution. Now this is critical for when you're hiring, when you're applying to a job, because people don't only wanna see the final project or the final render or whatever it is. The person that's gonna be hiring you also wants to see the challenge, the goal, you know, what actually went wrong in the project, what was your take on it? What was the challenge that you guys wanted to feature and, and solve? So this is a super, super important part of the entire project and the entire the entirety of the renders and everything, because without it, you don't give any context. So the context in this case is one of the most important parts of this entire portfolio. Now, apart from that, it does have some really, really nice branding. Personally, I'm a big fan of this kind of neon green and black solution here. There's only a few pages in this entire portfolio. So we have the homepage, we've got work where we can feature a few more projects. We've got this CTA, which is a symbol, which is considered throughout the entire project. We then have contact. And then the last one here is gonna be work single, which I'm not 100% sure. I think it's their way of saying the, the project page, but this is a very simple portfolio and it's branding and it's this typography and the colorway that, that is chosen is super, super nice right out of the gate. Now that last portfolio was nice, but nothing close to this next one. So Unork is an agency website template. So this is a great template if you're starting up an agency. Now it is a paid template, so keep that in mind, but it is a great one, so do also keep that one in mind. So when we get on the template, this is just a preview here. We've got a boring type of hero, but one of the things that you're gonna notice in this template is that although it is kind of a default template, you know, it's kind of boring, all the sections are, are quite standard, it's very well created. So what I mean by that is that everything, all the spacing, all of the, the imagery, it all works very, very well together. Now, one of the things that is important when you're creating or when you're buying a template like this is that you want it to work right out of the gate, right? You wanna just input your images and everything is gonna just work perfectly. And that is what this template will give you. So if you have an agency and you guys are just starting out, you guys are creating a couple projects together, this is a great template to have because you can just plug in your images, you can plug in the text that you've, you know, everything, the challenges, the solution, the progress. And in a few minutes or a day or something, you guys can have a very nice working template site here. So I don't know if you guys noticed here, but on the project CMS here, we also have a very smooth parallax that moves the images below the wrapper here. We also have a search feature here. So if I want to type in, for example, project or something, we can then search something up. So I'm guessing that project isn't a keyword that they're, that they're searching for, but that's all good. So we also have a very simple test testimonial here and also a get in touch form. We have the blog as well, which is super, super critical when you're starting out this agency. So blog is going to allow you to create a lot of SEO friendly work for yourself. And another one of the benefits with this template is that you get multiple types of hero pages. So you get hero navigation one, which we're on, we get number two, we get number three as well. So, you know, there's a lot of different variations that you can work with here. The point is that this is a great template. It's super, super nice to look at. Everything just looks very, very nice right out of the gate, which is super important when you guys are just starting out when you're trying to launch quick. This is a great portfolio to get. So next up is going to be the Cabello Design Agency clonable. Now this is a free clonable. And the reason why I like this is that it's a one page template for your agency. So everything that you have, everything that you need fits on this one page. So a contact form, the work that you've created, FAQs, projects, everything is just on one single page. So that's a great way to minimize work on your end and just push things out quickly. This is a great MVP project page to launch with. Maybe not the most complete one, but this is a great way to start. So we have helping startups achieve an online presence with Webflow websites. We have a carousel here that is constantly scrolling. And we also have this magnetic button here, which will take us to the next section here. So the services, I mean, this is quite a bit basic. You know, we have three individual cards here with a list. I mean, that's fine. But one of the things that I do like here is going to be the way that they work here. So we've got discovery, the wireframe development, handover and aftercare. We also have some of the FAQs. So this is just a very nice carousel. And if I was just getting started, this 
is a great simple one page portfolio site that I can I can just get up and run with. We also have a contact form here and then the footer all the way on the bottom. So again, not the most complete one by any means, but it's a very nicely put single page portfolio and it's also free. So next up is gonna be a paid template, but this Talon portfolio website here is a very nice portfolio that features a lot of different interactions and it's honestly just very visually appealing. So we have this interaction and animation here that we see as we first load it up. Then as we scroll down, we get this grid that we can almost compare to something like Pinterest where we have that, that type of grid. And as we scroll down, I mean, if we click on this one, it'll take us to the other projects that they're trying to sell with their templates. But if we can imagine that we can create our own project CMS pages with this, that would be amazing. So as we scroll down, we have these cards that we can put in our own skill set. We can add in any type of animation or interaction that we want to. And then when we scroll even further down, we get this again, very Pinterest type of styling here. But with these images, we can add in our own projects. So if we had some very nice project images, this is where I would put them. And as you scroll down, we get this infinite marquee, we get blogs, which is always extremely important. And this big marquee text here, let's talk. So this is another very simple one pager, but if we wanted to add on to it, we would already have all the interactions, the animations, the very nice visuals. So that is definitely a plus if we went ahead with this portfolio. 